Imagine trying to create something and ending up inventing something entirely different, capable of changing the course of humanity. Sounds like a movie script, right? But believe it or not, science is full of these Oscar-worthy plot twists. Today, we're diving into scientific discoveries that happened by accident, inventions and findings that emerged unintentionally, but transformed our lives in ways you might not even imagine. It's like tripping over a rock and finding a diamond. Think about it. How many things we use daily only exist because someone made a mistake, spilled something, burned something, or left something in the wrong place? History is packed with scientists and inventors who, in the middle of seemingly trivial experiments, found answers to questions they weren't even asking. And we're not talking about minor curiosities here. Some of these discoveries revolutionized medicine, technology, food, and even saved millions of lives. It's proof that in science, luck sometimes walks hand in hand with genius, even if that luck comes disguised as a disaster. Today, you'll hear about substances born from lab accidents, technologies that emerge from miscalculations, and even solutions that appeared out of pure distraction. By the end, it'll be hard not to wonder, could the next great leap for humanity be hiding in a simple stumble? So, hold on tight. The first story is jaw-dropping, and it starts with a mold that changed the world. Imagine walking into your lab and realizing your samples have been invaded by mold. Most people would toss it all in the trash, right? But Alexander Fleming in 1928 did the exact opposite. He took a closer look. Fleming was researching bacteria when he noticed that one of his culture plates had been attacked by a fungus. So far, no big deal. But around the mold, the bacteria were dead. As if that little green patch was an invisible force field. Curious, he began investigating. He discovered that this fungus, Penicillium notatum, produced a substance capable of killing various types of dangerous bacteria. By accident, he had just paved the way for the first antibiotic in history, penicillin. The irony? Fleming wasn't looking for a miracle cure. He simply noticed something most would overlook. And that accident ended up saving hundreds of millions of lives, completely transforming the treatment of infections. Before penicillin, a simple wound could be a death sentence. Surgeries were incredibly risky, and diseases like pneumonia and tuberculosis claimed countless lives every year. After penicillin, medicine entered a new era. To think it all started with a forgotten mold on a petri dish, isn't that proof that even a mess can be brilliant? But hold on, that's not the only time a mistake changed history. The next case was born from a cup of coffee and a moment of distraction. Imagine being at work, tinkering with high-tech equipment, and suddenly realizing the chocolate in your pocket is melting. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but that's how the microwave oven was born. In 1945, engineer Percy Spencer was testing a magnetron, a device that generates microwaves used in radars, when he noticed his chocolate bar had turned into a gooey mess. Intrigued, he thought, could this cook food? To test it, he placed some corn kernels near the device. Moments later, popcorn, literally. Then came an egg which ended up exploding, proving there was far more power there than he had imagined. Spencer wasn't trying to reinvent the kitchen, but he realized those invisible waves could heat food quickly and efficiently. The result was the first microwave oven in history, which back then looked more like a giant refrigerator and cost a fortune. Over time, the technology became compact and affordable, turning into the appliance we know today, capable of reheating your cold pizza in seconds. It's curious to think that a discovery that changed how we cook came from a simple workplace accident and a chocolate bar in the wrong place. And if you think that was a strange coincidence, wait until you hear about the day a lab mistake gave the world one of the most versatile materials ever created, Teflon. In 1938, chemist Roy Plunkett was trying to create a new refrigerant gas. He stored the material in metal cylinders, and when he returned to continue the experiment, something odd had happened. The gas had vanished. When he cut open the cylinder to investigate, Plunkett found a white, slippery powder stuck to the inner walls. Nothing like what he had planned, but this substance had very peculiar properties. It didn't react with almost anything, withstood extremely high temperatures, and was incredibly slick to the touch. This mistake gave rise to polytetrafluoroethylene, 
a complicated name for what the world simply knows as Teflon. At first, it was used in industrial and even military applications due to its resistance. But the real leap to fame came when someone had the brilliant idea to apply it to frying pans. The result? Food that no longer stuck to the bottom, a revolution in modern cooking. Today, Teflon is found not only in cookware, but also in spacesuits, cables, and even airplane components. The most curious part, Plunkett wasn't remotely interested in creating something for cooking. He just wanted a refrigerant gas, but he ended up creating a material that would change how we cook, work, and even explore space. And since we're talking about discoveries no one planned, wait until you hear how a chemical error gave rise to one of the most famous and radioactive colors in the world, Scheele's green. In the late 18th century, Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Scheele was searching for new pigments for paints. In 1778, he created a vibrant, almost hypnotic shade of green that seemed to glow with a life of its own. Soon, Scheele's green became a sensation in Europe. It appeared on walls, clothing, wrapping paper, and even children's toys. But there was a small and deadly catch. The pigment was made with arsenic. Yes, the same arsenic used as a poison. At the time, no one had any idea how dangerous it could be. People lived surrounded by that color, inhaling toxic particles without knowing. Over time, strange rumors surfaced. Manufacturers mysteriously falling ill, customers with unexplained symptoms, and even suspicions about the deaths of historical figures who wore clothes or lived in rooms decorated with the deadly green. Some believe that Napoleon Bonaparte himself may have been an indirect victim of this pigment. After all, his room in exile was painted in exactly that shade. The irony? Scheele didn't live to see the fame or infamy of his creation and died relatively young, though it's unclear if it was due to accidental poisoning. This is one of those cases where science gave both a gift and a curse, a beautiful color that became an invisible danger. And if you thought art had already caused enough harm, wait until you hear how a simple sweetener was discovered because someone forgot to wash their hands. In 1879, chemist Konstantin Falberg was working in a lab at Johns Hopkins University, studying coal tar derivatives. One day, after hours among flasks and reagents, he went home to eat dinner without washing his hands. In the middle of the meal, he noticed something strange. Everything tasted sweet, really sweet. Curious, Falberg returned to the lab the next day and started tasting, yes, literally tasting, different substances he had handled, until he found the culprit, a crystalline compound that, despite its unappetizing origin, was hundreds of times sweeter than regular sugar. Thus was born saccharin, the world's first artificial sweetener, and the most curious part. It was discovered entirely by accident. Falberg wasn't trying to replace sugar, but he ended up creating an alternative that decades later would become essential for diabetics and anyone looking to cut calories. Of course, the story isn't all that sweet. Saccharin faced controversies over its safety and taste, and for a long time it was associated with a metallic aftertaste that divided opinions. Still, it paved the way for an entire industry of artificial sweeteners we know today. To think it all started because someone forgot the basics of lab hygiene. Now, if you think that was an unlikely discovery, wait until you hear how a storm and a piece of faulty equipment helped create something that literally lit up the world, Edison's light bulb. When we think of Thomas Edison, the image that comes to mind is the genius who invented the electric light bulb. But the real story is a bit more accidental. In 1879, Edison and his team were testing hundreds of materials for a filament that would make the bulb glow without burning out too quickly. They had already tried plant fibers, rare metals, and even beard hair. Yes, you read that right. But nothing seemed to last long enough. One day, out of sheer persistence and perhaps a bit of luck, they decided to carbonize a piece of ordinary cotton thread. The result? The filament lasted over 40 hours, something unprecedented at the time. The choice of this material wasn't the result of a brilliant, calculated move, but rather a mix of trial and error, persistence, and that touch of coincidence that science loves. Edison, of course, refined the technique, but the turning point came precisely when an improvised experiment worked. With this discovery, 
electric lighting went from being an expensive and unstable curiosity to a global revolution. Entire cities began to shine at night, transforming the economy, culture, and even people's sleep patterns. To think that, without that piece of carbonized cotton, the world might have taken much longer to step out of the darkness. And what if I told you another accidental discovery helped create what we know as GPS, and it all started with a scientist hearing a strange whistle. In the 1960s, two American scientists, Harold Rosen and his colleague Ivan Getting, were involved in research related to satellites and communication, but the real first step toward modern GPS came from another pair. Physicists William Geyer and George Weifenbach from Johns Hopkins University. It all began when they were monitoring the signal of Sputnik, the first satellite launched by the Soviet Union in 1957. While listening to the famous beep-beep of the satellite on the radio, they noticed something curious. The frequency of the sound changed as Sputnik moved. It was the Doppler effect in action, the same phenomenon that makes an ambulance siren change pitch as it passes by you. They weren't trying to create a navigation system, but this accidental observation sparked an idea. If you could precisely measure this frequency shift, you could calculate the position of a moving object anywhere on Earth. The idea evolved, passed through military and scientific hands, and decades later became the GPS we use today for everything, from finding the nearest restaurant to guiding planes and ships. The most incredible part is thinking that the technology that guides billions of people every day was born from two scientists simply listening to a whistle from space. And if you think that's amazing, wait until you hear how a forgotten spring in a pocket gave rise to a toy that spanned generations, the Slinky. In 1943, naval engineer Richard James was working on a ship, testing special springs to stabilize sensitive equipment during storms. Everything was going fine, until one of the springs accidentally fell off a shelf. Instead of just dropping to the floor, the spring started to walk from one step to another in a smooth, almost hypnotic motion. James was fascinated. This didn't seem like an ordinary accident. It was almost like a magic trick unfolding before his eyes. Back home, he showed the scene to his wife, Betty, who immediately saw potential for a toy. After some tweaks to the size and material, the Slinky was born, the famous spring that walks downstairs on its own. Launched just before Christmas, the toy was an instant hit. In less than 90 minutes, the first 400 units sold out. Since then, the Slinky has sold hundreds of millions of units worldwide and become a pop culture icon. The most curious part? James never imagined he was inventing a toy. He was just testing a technical component for ships. But a moment of distraction and a fall in the right place turned an engineering object into one of the most enduring toys in history. And to wrap up this journey of accidents that changed the world, let's talk about a discovery that happened thanks to a curious scientist and a pile of forgotten trash, Velcro. In 1941, Swiss engineer Georges de Mistral returned from a walk in the countryside with his dog. Nothing special so far, except that his clothes and the dog's fur were covered in tiny burrs, while most people would pluck them off in annoyance, Mistral was intrigued. He took some burrs under a microscope and discovered their secret. Each one had tiny hooks that easily clung to the fibers of clothing or animal fur. This simple observation sparked an idea. What if you could create a fastening system inspired by nature, easy to attach and detach? After years of experiments, Mistral managed to replicate the same principle using two pieces of fabric, one with tiny hooks and another with small loops. Thus, Velcro was born, a name inspired by the French words velours, velvet, and crochet, hook. Initially used in clothing and mountaineering gear, it soon conquered entire industries, from fashion to medicine and even NASA space missions. The most fascinating part is that it all started with a simple walk and the decision to take a closer look at something everyone else considered a nuisance. These stories show that, in science and in life, chance can be as powerful as genius. You just need to keep your eyes open to see the opportunity. Now tell me, which of these accidental discoveries surprised you the most? Leave your comment below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel for more incredible stories like this.